Hi, so this is a screencast on doing Lewis structures for multiple bonds, and hopefully you have already watched the screencast on doing single bonds um, Lewis structures. If you haven't, you need to really go back and watch how to do Lewis structures, because I'm not going to explain um, the process. I'm just going to show you the differences on how you know when you need a multiple bond. Um, a multiple bond is when you have a double or a triple bond is where you have six or eight um, electrons being shared. So in this nitrogen example here, you can see that there are six dots in between the two nitrogens, which results in a triple bond. And if we were to illustrate real quick here, if we had a carbon-carbon double bond, uh, you would see that there are four dots shared in between the two carbons and then they would have additional bonds um, possibly to hydrogen as I'm showing here but it could be to other elements. The important part is in a double bond you have those four dots in the middle and in a triple bond you have the six. So anytime you have more than one bond that's referred to as a multiple bond. Alright so here is a sample problem where it's going to work through the process to see when we use a double bond and in the example we have here we have carbon uh, H2O. So CH2O, it's um, one carbon, two hydrogens, and an oxygen. Uh, the process starts with finding the, um, the number of dots needed, so the math step as we've done in the past. Uh, carbon, there's one of them. Hydrogen, there's two of them. And oxygen, there's one. The carbon contributes four dots. The oxygen each, or I'm sorry, the hydrogen each contributes one dot, and the oxygen contributes six. When you do the math, you end up with 4, 2, and 6, which gives you 12. So in our image, we're going to need 12 total electrons. That's the same math step that we've done in single bonds. You do everything the same, just like we did before. Got a little bit ahead of myself. So we had carbon, uh, hydrogen, and oxygen. There's one carbon, two hydrogens, one oxygen. This is 4, this is 1, this was 6. When you do the math... You get 4, 2, 6, which is 12 electrons. I often refer to this step as the math step, and if you show this on a test, and I see that you indicate you need the correct number of electrons, but somehow you mess up on um, the placement of those electrons, I can possibly offer you partial, uh, partial points. So make sure that you're showing this work so that you can reference it later. All right, so this step is asking you to form a skeleton structure of the molecule. And so we have, again, we have the CH2O. And so we need to recognize here what goes in which places. We are going to put carbon in the center. And you can choose which side you would like to place your hydrogen and your oxygen. Um, and in this case, we're going to always make sure that we put two dots in between each electron pair and we're going to stop there and move on to the next step.
The next step is to um, finish filling out the octet rule and to verify the number of electrons in our picture matches with the math step that we calculated earlier. Uh, so the carbon needs to have two more for its octet and oxygen would need some more dots as well for its octet. Um, if you remember back to the math step, it said that we needed 12 electrons. If you look at the picture here, we have um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We have 14 electrons when in fact we need to have uh, just 12. So what we need to do is we need to share more electrons. We are going to remove this pair off the bottom and this free pair off of the carbon. You need to always pick free unshared electrons that are on two adjacent connected elements. We have picked off of this carbon and we've picked off of this um, oxygen. So we're going to remove these and we are going to go back and replace one of the pair, the, of the two pair that we took away in between the two um, connected elements. What you will see results is that um, you have a double bond here. I'm gonna rewrite it so that we can see it a little bit better and I'm going to use the um, single line bond structure but it is the same thing as having two electrons on the left side and the right side of the carbon as well as four electrons on the oxygen. We do still have lone pair electrons on the car on the oxygen down there. Uh, if you go back and verify, again, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, which is our total number of electrons needed. Uh, the carbon here has two, four, six, eight, this oxygen has two, four, six, eight. So all of the um, octet rules and the total number of electrons are satisfied. Here's a sample problem I'd like you to try. Um, and I would like you to listen to the instructions and then press pause, work out the problem, and then um, play it to see if you were right. I would like you to come up with the Lewis structure for CO2. Um, and I'm going to give you a hint that there's probably, wink, wink, there's a double or triple bond or maybe both involved. Okay, so this definitely has a multiple bond in it. Um, draw out the Lewis structure for CO2. Go ahead and hit pause, do your work, and then come back. Okay, so here we go. We have carbon, we have oxygen. There's one carbon, there's two oxygen. Um, four electrons for carbon, six electrons for oxygen. Doing the math will result in 16 electrons needed in um, this, this structure. We're going to put carbon in the center and oxygen around it. I'm gonna start in the blue and we'll make corrections as needed in case we have a double bond. We're going to fill in our octet on all of our atoms. So we're putting all these dots around to make sure that there's eight around each element. There's eight around this oxygen on the left, eight around the carbon in the center, eight around the oxygen on the right. And if we count it, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So definitely too many. We need to remove some. And I'm going to start with removing this pair and this pair. And I'm going to replace one pair back in between. So let's go back and count. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We're closer, but still not done. Uh, I'm going to remove this pair, and I'm going to remove this pair, and I'm going to replace in between with another pair. And let's go back and count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And that is the number that we needed. Um, if you verify the octet rule, this oxygen here in the center has 8 around it. This carbon has eight around it, and this oxygen has eight around it. So it meets the octet rule. And what ends up happening is um, this version that we just drew has two double bonds. It also would be acceptable to have carbon with a triple bond and a single bond. And you can flip-flop this so that the triple and the single are on either side. Either answer is correct. Um, you do need to have multiple bonds in this example. Here is the homework assignment. There are 10 problems I need.
Here is your homework problem. Um, there are 10 problems. I need you to draw the Lewis structures. You can have single, you can have double, and you can have triple bonds. Um, show your work, show the math step, and we will look at it later.